Welcome to Wise Beyond Bitcoin, where you come for the crypto neo news, education, and opportunities. My name is Lucas. My name is Ryan. I'm Jacob. And we love to share with you, of course, secret updates as well. We've got a lot of playlists here. You can check it out and get started if you're new to crypto and DeFi. And of course, Secret, the premium layer one privacy solution for smart contracts, which is why we have playlists dedicated to their NFTs, which are unique and what can be done with secret NFTs can't be done on any Ethereum blockchain. How to start your secret crypto journey. We've got wallet tutorials, sending, staking. If you're brand new to crypto or DeFi, providing liquidity, we walk you through all of it, choosing validators and that's going to have something to do with this video. In fact, we're kind of going to get right into it. We've got airdrops and opportunities. This is about opportunities. It's about education. None of this is commercial advice, legal advice, financial advice, marital advice, medical advice. Go seek a professional for all that stuff. We're just sharing our research and our information that we come across. And when it comes to the secret network, latest and greatest, this is one of the biggest, most valuable value added protocols, decentralized applications to be put on secret. Would you guys agree with me on this? I would most say definitely. it's the most valuable on the IBC, but <laughs> that's my opinion. Well, with the road, and we're going to get to that in a minute. <laughs> for sure. Absolutely. This is huge. So um, for those who have watched some of our other content or not are familiar with what has been developed in blockchain and crypto proof of stake networks, they need to stake a token in order to keep it secure, right? But once you stake that token, you can no longer take that same token and go use it to provide liquidity. So it, it sucks up a lot of the liquidity that the network has to offer. Now, there have already been other staking, uh, liquid staking derivatives implemented on Ethereum. So this protocol that we're talking about is open source. What they're building is open source and trustless. They're not reinventing the wheel. They're taking the best of a lot of what's been developed in through smart contracts in on you know on Ethereum chains and other, and they're applying it to secret network where we're going to get into this. But what's so special about secret network? <laughs> the privacy, right? It's a secret. <laughs> privacy absolutely i mean so so now someone um can take this with this staking derivative and i guess we'll get into how it works but instead of staking your secret directly in your kepler wallet or your web 3.0 wallet and and choosing a validator directly you will go through the stake easy protocol they have a list of validators to choose from. They promote decentralization. So there will be a DAO and governance that allows for dynamic decentralization as more validators come online and people want to choose. So very, very interesting there. But um, yes, by using their protocol, how does it work, Ryan? You want to kind of explain yeah. a little bit how this process works, liquid staking? Yeah, well, let's... Before we talk about that, let's talk about what we're replacing, because just to make it clear. So when you stake out of your Kepler wallet, when you stake your secret out of your wallet on the chain, that's not an, uh, a, a secret secret transaction, right? That's not going to be part of the, the privacy preserving layer on secret network. This is still public information, right? So what, what we're doing now with Stake Easy is we're going to be going through their protocol to stake and in doing so it's going to be done on the through the secret secret channel so th these stakes are private so that's the that's the first thing that we should talk about huge now now the other thing that's important about this is that this is going to be you're going to be getting a a, a a stake easy token there's a it's going to be a governance token and it's there's going to be a um, a, a, liqu a liquid staking essentially receipt or token that's going to go with that's going to it's going to compound auto compound your stake so unlike in native staking uh, on the chain through Kepler wallet, you have to, in that situation, you have to go and claim your rewards every so often, you know, pay the gas fee and then go re redelegate uh, either, to, you know, to pick a new validator or, you know, use the same one you were using before, but it requires actions right on your part. And in this, it's going to be an automatic compounding, which minimizes the, the gas fees and the time and the energy and everything that's involved. And it happens seamlessly. So this is great, a great innovation to see 
uh, on secret and on and, and on the IBC in general. Dig it. You're right. Absolutely. And auto compounding that the gas fees, most people wouldn't have the time or desire to pay the gas fees for something like this. And just by holding the stake, the staked secret token, stake easy secret token, you don't have to worry about that. It's automatically done. So you're going to receive a higher rate of return. You're just naturally going to see a receive yes. higher rate than you would have if you were to stake it directly. So you actually benefit. Now the team, um, I had the pleasure of being able to listen to Udit and Amit earlier today talk a lot about this project. And what's beautiful is that it's a transparent team. There's transparency, trustless, the, the protocols being open source that, that's being developed. And they're not reinventing the wheel, but they're taking what they see as value needed. There's, there's a gap to fill in the secret network and they are going above and beyond really beyond because you could have just stayed at liquid staking derivative and that'd be oh great that's what secret network needed that's huge but they're doing more than just that um the, yes. auto, the auto compounding that often is done on separate yield farming platforms you usually go to another network that offers auto compounding so that they're mm -hmm. auto compounding and providing that staking derivative. What can people do? What can people do with a staking derivative? Let's say you, you now have this staked secret token that's private. When we say right. that it allows for more liquidity in the network, now that they don't have to keep it stuck you know, um, in, in that staked setting, what can they now mm -hmm. do with this token, this liquid token? Well, it op it uh, opens up a few different options. Uh, the safest and most most uh, risk free option would just be to hold it, right, and just to let that uh, accrue as as the days go by. You know, it accrues. But that's you know we like to talk about what are the other options, right? So one of the other things you could do is you could call, you could use it as collateral and you could borrow against it. Mm -hmm. You could you could also uh, take it and. Uh, send it to a different wallet. So say, say, you, you know, we, we all know that you have to 21, there's a 21 uh, day unbonding period when you stake. Right. And if you go through Kepler on chain and you want to unstake, there's going to be that you wait, right. You wait that time, but the, this would, this having this liquid staking token, now you can send it to a different wallet. And now you have, you have that, you're about that freedom, you know, to do, to, to, to do whatever with it. So it's, um, yeah, there, it creates a lot of options. Uh, the leverage staking is a big one. Now, there's not financial advice, but you know, but you using your liquid stakes as collateral to then get an, a loan to then buy another more secret and to restake. And you could, you know, there's the, it opens the option, the possibility for doing the looping that we see on other other parts of the DeFi world. And if you read the white paper, there's talk about derivatives as well that they're going to come up um, that they're going to in, in, uh, in, introduce later on. So. There, yeah, there's some cool stuff coming with the liquid staking. You guys want to talk about something else huge that they're bringing to the table? I don't know if we're getting ahead of ourselves, but I see this long-term goal right here. And, Ooh, and that's, that's one of your the name reasons on it. why, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's the big reason why I say it's so important is because uh, it's going to allow you to stake on other Cosmo or other of the IBC chains like Cosmos, like Akash, like any any single Terra Luna, any of them. And Juno. it's going to uh, Juno, Stars, and you're going to be able to take place in the governance on these particular chains while also having privacy focused staking. It's huge. Blows my and mind. While it auto compounds. And while off, it's auto compound. Offering now this is yeah. long term. This isn't like but but this is what the technology is bringing, what they're bringing to Secret Network, this is the goal. And you think about this, it's a it's a beautiful and perfect opportunity for a lot of other networks to, to get involved with privacy because Juno, a lot of other, a lot of other members of the inner blockchain community, the IBC inner blockchain communication network have been looking forward to secret network integration to allow for that privacy. This would be the hub because now you would be able to have a staked token of that blockchain that's auto compounding 
that's private. So all those members of the community, think about that. Juno, Luna, um, stars, all, all these different osmosis, they would now, like you said, Ryan, stake in a wallet, but they would be able to do it privately on these other chains and still maintain those staking rewards and possibly help if they were able to further grow what they're doing, maybe even maintain governance. And this would be a private, do we even mention the private voting aspect yet? Yeah. No, we haven't talked our we'll be able to talk about it again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that the idea is that they are working to make sure because I asked them, well, what about airdrops, right? Because typically if you go to other chains, when they do airdrops, you don't get to partake in the airdrops because you're using some other protocol. But they're actually looking at ways they create they have creative ways to build out through a DAO that people will be able to receive airdrops from the validators they choose and to choose validators based upon airdrops that are coming out to allow people to, to move. So they're very into making this user-friendly and the most, the most efficient, the most value that it can bring to define to the ecosystem. It's really cool. Um, there's something else I was going to mention. We talked about the auto compounding and the other chains coming in shucks can't think of it right now well um, voting that's what it was voting okay private voting other chains will now have access to private voting that's, oh, that's huge so if you want to have privacy on your voting in juno or these other networks the way you would do it is through this secret network hub that's being created through stake easy so this is the long-term vision, but it's starting here on Secret Network, and it's what's not long-term is a liquid staking derivative for Secret Network. That's right around the corner within a couple months, um, mm -hmm. if not sooner. And uh, then a few months after that, I believe within four or five months, they'll be having their stake easy governance token launching. But what's really neat is that they want to build value and bring their they want to allow the community to use the protocol first and see it function and operate before launching a governance token later. So I, I, that's another thing that I think is really cool. If you look, follow the team and I encourage you follow them. We'll leave all these links below so you can do your own research, but follow, follow them on Twitter or Discord and hear the latest and greatest. In fact, if you hit that notification, there you go. Um, yeah, because yep. they have a long-term vision. They've been around and they're looking at building a lot of value. This is just the beginning. It's early on. So our excitement is seeing the potential and these things, you know, some of these like the IBC that that's even in their roadmap is long-term vision. So at least a year yep. out. I see the main that launches on what the 18th of March. So a couple days. Yep. <clears throat> and, um, what the first little bit, 21st, 25 days is going to be reserved for whitelisted users only. But then after that, it'll open on April 12th for everybody. So definitely uh, something to be keep an eye on. I know this is something I want to be, I'm going to be all over <laughs> as soon yeah. as I, I can, right? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Very cool. Very excited about, really excited about what this is going to do for Secret, but for DeFi in general and for what we, we love to talk about this all the time, the airdrops and opportunities in the IBC. Of course, we love secret networks, privacy solutions, and the dApps that are being built that you just can't find anywhere else like Stake Easy. But we're also big fans of the interoperability and the value that's being created in this Cosmos ecosystem, the map of zones, which we cover a lot. And I right. love how Stake Easy, this application, the team, they are looking at integrating with these other blockchains and adding value to the chains by offering them privacy solution while also promoting ways of still being able to participate in your own vote, in your own choice of validators. So right. that's very, very cool too. Yes, very much. Uh, I'm excited to see what happens. The, uh, the ability for to bring liquidity also to, to new deck to dexes in, in on secret or on the other chains as as these staked assets uh and we get the staked easy token the liquidity you know the token that's that uh that accrues and compounds mm -hmm. that's going to create a new source of liquidity that can go and help uh fuel you know pools or uh, you know provide liquidity for dexes it, you know it, it it creates a an investment 
or an investment opportunity, or it just it creates an asset that can now be used to go fund things, right? And I'm they've excited to talks. see how that ripples out in the IBC. That's, that you mentioned that reminds me, they've been in talks already with Button Group, which we love. That's the that's the Dex aggregator yield optimizer for Secret yep. Network, and with Sienna Swap and Secret Swap. So they're the the three main resources for swapping and exchanging on secret network they're already in talks with providing liquidity very cool there so this is right around the corner mark your calendar follow hit your notification hit your notification bell and subscribe to this channel as well if you want to stay abreast of the latest and greatest i think what do you guys think i think we covered this one pretty well is there something else you want to mention about liquid staking on secret network and stake easy i just want to mention really quickly this is very much so like one of those timed locked, uh, you know, li liquid bonds almost. And it, it's, it really changes your perspective of how to make passive income in this space. A lot of people are so used to mining, flipping, getting in on NFTs. And this is just one of those tool, uh, this is just one of those tools in your tool belt to be able to make more passive income. And I, I personally, I'm going to put that in my tool belt. Oh yeah. For and sure. we'll, keep, we'll keep everyone abreast as we do live tutorials and this works. I look forward to doing a walkthrough like we did on the LP osmosis video and secret staking videos and choosing validators. Be sure that when this does come out and we're able to, we look forward to make to participating and adding value to this ecosystem and seeing what can be rewarded in through this program well said it's rewarding anyway the, the whole thing is a rewarding process have fun if you're not having fun sure. then then relook rethink what you're doing because this <laughs> these are exciting times blockchain and crypto is about enjoying the volatility and the ups and the downs but being able to appreciate the development and the hard work that teams and people are putting in regardless i actually haven't looked at prices i have no idea what the markets are doing right now it's been a while i'm sure it's up or down or down or up but at the end of the day you see more laws more recognition more awareness of this technology being around for a long time and for those of us who have who've been around this for a little while that's the optimism that's the that's the silver lining and it's also the reality the reality is is that take your time to learn this it's just the beginning and you can learn it quick because if i can figure this out and figure out how to make a web 3.0 wallet and post it on youtube you can definitely figure this out <laughs> all right oh, yeah Until well, message <laughs> message us if you can't because that's what we're here for <laughs> exactly uh, that's how we that's how i'm like if i can figure it out i can definitely walk you through this all right until the next time have a beautiful day namaste y'all later thank you